The Be Bold for Change campaign is about making some conscious decisions and, and taking some deliberate action to actually improve gender equality within our department. People have been talking about gender equality for a long time but really nothing's changed. For me it's changing the way women see themselves. It's breaking that stereotype. Anyone can do anything if they, if they really want to. Why can we involve more? equal opportunities, so to speak, for both men and women. We can stipulate in our contracts that we want to see that gender equality. It's definitely an issue that needs to be addressed. I hear a lot of comments about how gender, um, gender equality is not relevant, for example, in our recruitment processes because we have a merit-based recruitment process. But our statistics about who is hired and when they're hired actually tells us that whatever it is that's happening, uh, it's certainly not ending up with a um, gender equal uh, result. I've found myself using language about how I got to the position that, that I'm in and, and being really self-depreciating about that. I find a lot with um, passengers, they make comments that will say, you know, are you sure you can drive this thing or do we need to put your L plates up? I think we need to be prepared to, uh, to, to be very strong with the actions we take. Mm. Like I say, sometimes we need to push the pendulum a little bit past uh, the natural level. But I also think we need to, you know, make sure that they see female role models to be positive about what you've achieved rather than sort of downplaying it. I think we need to start right at the beginning, like you said, we need to start at schools. We have to do it all the way through. We can't just target the top or the bottom. Yeah. We've got to do it right through the organisation. And the reality is we can't keep doing the same things because if we do, we'll get the same results. How as an organisation are we going to challenge our systems and processes that we've put in place that allow us at the moment to sort of say everything's okay when the results are showing us that things aren't okay. The best thing you can do, I guess, is to, to speak out stand up, I guess, for, for what you feel is just. I think it's important. If we as a department can, so to speak, look out for the different perspectives of our customers, why can't we do it within our own corporate body structure? Absolutely. That, that's what we should be focusing on. If we're not really proactive, if we really don't take, start taking some positive steps towards changing that, then there won't be any change. Statistics currently are not in favour of women. Um, the pay gap is still present. Sport and recreation still has the largest gender pay gap at 49% of pretty much any sector. And there are just our times, even in our own workplace every day, we've got to be prepared to stand up when people aren't saying the right thing, when people are putting women down or aren't treating women in the way that they should. A man saying exactly the same thing that the, the woman has just said and be... And everybody listens. Perhaps it's that um, people see you as being uh, aggressive or confrontational when actually you're articulate and um, assertive. Better balance of men and women and it really changes the, the mood of the whole environment. It has a, You have a different discussion when you raise issues, you talk about them differently. Because we have different views and we have different perspectives. Yep. And, and that's what we need in today's world. Different views and different perspectives to move forward Absolutely. and make change. It's really been a conscious thing for me uh, about the message that I send to other young women that it's not an accident. Um, when you get where you get, um, that it's through hard work and, and you deserve to be there. How quickly can we change that over? You know, is yeah. it, can we do it in a generation? It's very helpful for women to have other women around them yeah. to you know, feel stronger within the workplace. There needs to be an environment that makes everybody comfortable, men and women alike. Yeah, definitely. The, the current team I'm in right now is uh, we actually have two females and two males, including myself, so it is equal, equal. basically. Mm. So if we can uh, sort of have that perspective and work as a team and as a collaborative, yeah. why can't uh, you know, other sections of the department do that? So for us, it's not just about women, it's about women and men having equal opportunities at work.